Merry Christmas everyone! Hello my lovely babies! Welcome back! Today's video is a one month update on the SMY Mini! So this is the SMY Mini Box Mod, and when I first reviewed this, oh come on, show me a screen. When I first reviewed this, I fell in love with this screen and like how it just has all these functions and looks really cool. It shows the date and the time, which is something I have not seen on a mod, but I mean, and it's cute and it's handheld in this box, but I didn't find myself like as in love with it as I thought I was going to be, and that's not due to any reason in particular, I just didn't really... I'm in love with other things, honestly, that's what it is. <laughs> I just, I'm in love with my knee box and it kind of puts everything else on the back burner. But I'd like to start off by saying I didn't really have any issues with this mod whatsoever. I think the back is good, It because I was like wondering, I was like, at first this is kind of like a flimsy back, I was like, oh, it's probably gonna have issues there, no issues there, the magnet magnets on the back are very well in place and hold the back just fine buttons just fine, no misfiring, no issues with the regulatory buttons, although you, they are like really easy to change if you don't actually lock the setting. It's really super simple to accidentally change the wattage, which is fine. I do have the Target Mods Atomizer on here because it's one of my favorite atomizers right now. It has, it produces such a good freaking flavor and if you saw my one month update on that, you would have seen like, it kind of blew me out of the water. I am wearing my festive Christmas sweater. Well, it's not really a Christmas sweater because it actually like, it's like kind of like a gown, but like to knee high so but it's so warm and festive and I wear this during the winter and I just love it my grandma gave it to me a couple years ago and I've kept it because I just it's perfect for this time of year it's nice and warm it's fleece and this is not about the sweater though this is about this mod no issues so I asked you guys in the original first look review of this to tell me if you had any problems with it or anything I should look out for and nobody had really this wasn't really a popular mod and maybe the the screen is actually a turnoff for some people because see there's the screen but I actually really like it it has a lot of settings it has a lot of safety features which I really value in this day and age of vaping because of all like the propaganda about well not propaganda because I guess it's true but about about mods exploding and shit like that because people aren't safe with their batteries that's why I lean towards I lean away from mech mods lean towards things that have like the most protection features on them I need to have a vape though oh I love this atomizer I love these coils but it's not about that either it's about this little guy so I do like the size the size is awesome it's good for on the go I didn't really take this on the go with me though because I already have so many on the go mods but I just feel like it's so pocket handheld love it the fire buttons nice and big really flat towards the device which is good because then it it doesn't promote like accidental firing because it doesn't stick out that much I definitely like this mod and this atomizer combo a lot. I think it's a really, like, it looks nice. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I mean, the screen works fine, all the functions have been working fine, I, I, it's, it's great. And I have charged the battery through the device just because, you know, you're supposed to take the battery out and use an external charging bay when you have an 18650 battery, but I like to test out mods with charging the battery inside the mod and had no issues there it wasn't getting like any like super hot because I've noticed some mods get super hot when charging and that's a no-go like that worries me and I don't ever like leave my mods charging and like leave away from them even if they're ones that are like uh, internal batteries like the MVP I just come kind of too paranoid about that so Yes, this what was I saying? <laughs> this one charge is good. I'm too excited. It's Christmas, guys, and I'm doing a video, so Merry Christmas. I still did a video. I almost wasn't going to do a video, but then I was like, no, I don't want to skip the one month update because I promised I was going to do one month update, and I can't do it tomorrow because I have a schedule and I'm trying. It's going to be like one of my New Year's resolutions to try and stay on my vape schedule, but it's just so jam packed. I have so much stuff to review, which is a blessing and a curse all in one. My god, this atomizer just blows me away every day. Every day that I use it, I'm just like, I love this atomizer. I love it. Did the lighting change, guys? Shh. 
I'd have to say for such a tiny mod, it is kind of heavy, but that's neither here nor there because it, that's personal preference mainly. I'd like to hear from anybody out there who may be an owner. I guess a con would be that you can see my fingerprints, sticky, e-liquidy hands will leave fingerprints on the screen. Not so much on the back. Well, yeah, you can kind of see it on the back too. But the back has that carbon fiber battery cover, which really helps. I didn't actually, like I said, I didn't take this out with me, so I didn't have like the opportunity to drop it. I feel like that would have been a good thing to bring to the update, but I didn't actually drop it. I'm not gonna drop it on purpose because I don't have two of these. But for a little 60 watt device that also does TC, you get a lot out of it. It has all those different functions. It displays so much. Um, one thing I could mention though is that with the screen that it has, it has such a large screen and all that stuff displayed. I do feel like it kind of draws on the battery a little bit more since it's only a single 18650 battery. And I'm kind of messed up about the automatic vaping. I just wanted to clarify here that the automatic vaping isn't like a start and stop when you stop, you have to push the button. It automatically, when you have it set on automatic vaping, it will vape for how many seconds you have it set to. So that's something that you change in the settings and it will only vape for that many seconds after you push the fire button once. But I do manual mode, like I don't want automatic. That just seems, that's just like begging for like accidents to happen. So overall, like I said, I don't have much to complain about this mod. It's doing just great after a month of use. And I've actually heard quite a bit of good things about it now recently about people who have it and have used it and love it and have had no issues with it either so if you've used it and have issues let me know down in the comments below because it helps out other people looking at this mod who may want to purchase it I will put a link below this video to this mod if you're interested in it but that's it for today's video just a short quick update on Christmas for you guys I hope you enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews check the description box below this video for important links like where to get my favorite things like eLiquids mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload videos that aren't vaping related. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. So what did y'all get for Christmas? Let me know! All these Christmas presents that are below my tree are for other people that I need to get them to their Christmas presents. But everyone's always so busy during the holidays, it's hard to even catch up with anyone. Struggle is real. Christmas struggle. I'm so excited. It's Christmas!